We also do the toe. We experience with the toe. Uh, yeah, Ooh. you said you. So what do you smoke? A, you smoke uh, the the venom on the back of a toad, or how yeah, does it work? Let's go deeper that you want to experience being God for a few minutes. That's what it does. Mm-hmm. Introduce you to God. What do you on a think? One on one basis. What do you mean? Will you see God? Like you have a legi- like you see him, or you're equal to him? You are him. Okay, so you're equal to him. I'm not. You're not equal to him. You are him. Got it. When your instincts <laughs> kick in and you, you reach that that primal hey, point of it can make you a god. Those are those are very scary statements, you know. And it just shows you how many drugs and substances he's on. We all should be making dua for him to ask Allah to to remove those substance abuse because it's it's people like this who die from overdoses. Brother Mike Tyson clearly needs some help. Dude is talking about he's smoking a toad, he's smoking a rattlesnake, and we're here talking about shit can go for this and that. Yo, man could be about to die. You know, and if he dies in that condition of thinking negatively, may Allah protect us. That's our brother. Let's have mercy on each other. Let's, you know, and this is not about assuming the best in someone. This is about, like, you need to surrender and just say, hey, I don't know his life experience. Like, I've never smoked a toad. Way of Life SQ, keeping it a hundred. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to another video. Man, oh man, oh man. You read that title. You're like SQ. What are you going on about, man? New people in your titles. What's up? What's happening? I'm going to jump straight into this right now. And just let you know right now, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Before we jump into the video that I want to jump into, um, I want to let you know that I am not one of those YouTubers who thinks that they are qualified to give fatwas or to ridicule or laugh at someone or to think that someone has just committed kufr. They've left the fold of Islam. Let me tell you something right now. I'm not qualified to even talk about it. So this perspective that you're going to receive right now is specifically a perspective from a person who could sort of vibe with what Mike Tyson is going on about. What is he saying, you know? You see, you're you're here thinking about, oh, I played the clips. I showed you the clips. Mike Tyson saying that he is God or that he is next to God or he's equal to God or something of that nature. He... Whatever it might be, you're like, I for a lot what it is. Can we first address the elephant in the room and the fact that the entire conversation, Mike Tyson, brother Mike Tyson, he's a Muslim. Alhamdulillah, he's a Muslim. Okay, he's a Muslim. He's our brother. That's our brother. That's not some stranger. That's not just some, uh, that's our brother, brother Mike Tyson. Okay, he was smoking most of the time, smoking weed. Now, anyone who's ever smoked weed understands that no matter how regulated you feel or medicated you feel, there's still some type of new vibe that you're experiencing because of the of the weed. And subhanAllah, this is, this is just in itself. And before we continue with talking about weed and all that sort of stuff, uh, I want to take a quick second to plug in. Uh, our preparation for Ramadan is started already. We're starting with the Asma al Husna, the 99 names of Allah. Uh, in each video, I'm just going to like mention one name and we're going to continue from there. This is the second name that we're talking about. Only the real ones know what the first name was. But I'm probably going to say it anyways. Real ones, tell me in the comment section below. Um, today's name is Ar Rahim. Ar Rahim, which often gets confused with Ar Rahman, but we spoke about that video. You've probably seen it in the comment section by now. Ar Rahim is not just the most merciful or you know uh, uh, or you know the most beneficent or that's not what Ar Rahim is. Ar Rahim is the most merciful especially to the believers. Especially Ar Rahim is what makes the believer have more, more, a more of a blessed connection with our Allah. Bismillah ar Rahman. You know the rest. Ar-Rahim is what makes the makes the beautiful connection with Allah. You know when we're going to need Ar-Rahim the most? On the Day of Judgment. And He's going to show an extra mercy towards us because we never associate any partnership with Him. We put our head to the ground. Today's Jummah when I'm making this. I hope you watched the khutbah. Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. I know, I'm as confused as you are. Why are they letting me even speak on these members? I don't know either. It's Allah who's allowed it. So maybe there's some good news in what I'm saying. Let's get back to Mike Tyson, okay? So, brother Mike Tyson, he is on a, on a substance while he's even speaking. So off the bat, 
I can't take him serious. Can we all just acknowledge that? Can we? I can't take him serious. And this is not to discredit his intelligence, uh, his personality, and all that, which he's a funny guy, you know, mashallah. Um, you know, but you... You can't take what he's saying seriously. And what is he talking about? When he's saying those things about God and sitting next to God and seeing God or he is God or whatever, he just finished telling you that he smoked a toad. Like, there's certain poisonous toads that if you lick the back of it, you can get high. It's like a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a hallucinogen. He smoked it. Come on. I mean, if you're not sick, like, you must have seen some type of jinn. Come on. It's, there's so much danger with that. He's saying that his ruh left his body. As soon as you take the hit, boom, your soul goes here and your body goes here. Oh, no. Do you actually feel like you hey, left hey, your hey, body? Hey. It's the most scariest experience you will ever think, uh, go through in your life to know that you're dead. Come on. He was talking about smoking things like DMT. But you've also experimented a little bit with actual DMT as well, right? Absolutely. You know, those things change people's lives, right? You know, people who do, you don't eat, yo, you don't know what you're talking about. You out there, easy, oh, he's seen Jah, he's doing shirk, he's doing kufr, he's doing this. You don't know his experience. Have any of you done shrooms? Has any of you done E? Pop the molly? Pop the molly, you tripping? Have you ever? Acid? I'm sorry, LSD? It's type of acid. Come on. Oxy? Syrup? Scissor? Syrup? Whatever you want to call it? Come on. You don't know what his experience is. Now, this doesn't give him license and to say, it's okay, so that means we all can say things like this. Like, absolutely not. Brother Mike Tyson clearly needs some, you know, some help. Dude is talking about he's smoking a toad, he's smoking a rattlesnake, and we're here talking about shit can go for this and that. Yo, man could be about to die, you know? And if he dies in that condition of thinking negatively, may Allah protect us. That's our brother. Let's have mercy on each other. Let's, you know, and this is not about assuming the best in someone. This is about, like, you need to surrender and just say, hey, I don't know his life experience. Like, I've never smoked a toad, but if it's anything like doing K, ketamine, Y'all don't even know. Y'all don't even. You don't. You don't understand the experiences, life experiences that people have, because you don't understand them. You just label them off. You can't do that. You can't behave that way. Okay. So, before you jump down <laughs> Iron Mike Tyson's throat about him doing this or that, I don't know. Maybe I haven't checked. Has Ali Dava made a video about this? I don't know. Maybe. Has Brother Zishan made a video about this? I don't know. Maybe. And if you've seen their videos, you could get out of my video right now. They probably said the same thing that I have, right? But the point is that a lot of us don't know what he's going through or his experiences were, you know? And for him to say statements like that, those are, those are very scary statements, you know? And it just shows you how many drugs and substances he's on. We all should be making dua for him to ask Allah to, to remove those substance abuse because it's, it's people like this who die from overdoses. They try one extra thing. May Allah protect him. I'm not saying he will. May Allah you know, have mercy on us all. You know? But we don't want to die in those stories. Say, imagine if Allah would have taken his ruh just like that. Imagine in a trip. Imagine the, uh, the, the angel of death comes and just snatches his ruh while Mike Tyson's on a trip. What would be happening then? Mike Tyson, there's no, you can't face Allah. I don't care how much Iron Mike Tyson you are. You can't face Allah. On the day of judgment, we're going to be worried it's not a word on the Day of Judgment. Baby's hair is going to turn gray. A mother loves their child so much. Loves their child so much. And this is in relationship to the name Ar-Rahim that we spoke about. I hope you still remember. It comes from the Arabic root word of... I'm not going to say it. I'll let you say it in the comment section below. I want you to find out. But it means womb. I know some of you are going to say it in the comment section below. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has related his name with the softness, the comfort, the protection of the womb. Why does he want to throw us in the hellfire? What mother would want their child to burn 
Well, and Allah is not, I'm not saying Allah is our father, astaghfirullah, you know, get that out your head. But this is like, you know, in real life example, like my, I would never want my children to get harmed. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us that if, if I can love a child that, you know, my wife birthed, I didn't even have nothing to do with it. Right. I had something to do with it, if you get what I mean, but you know, like nothing else, you know, my, like. And, and, and my wife's love for the children goes beyond mine in a way that I will never understand. Believe me, a mother's love for a child goes beyond a father. It, it just, it just it be like that. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, fellas. It just, it just happens like that, okay? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that child, she would do anything for that child, right? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would do anything for us, and we are His creation. How much love did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made us with? Allahu Akbar. Right? We're, we're, we're the children of Adam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves us. He wants all of us to get this message. But what are you going to do? Right? How many people are going to see this? The amount that's supposed to see it. 5,000 views? Okay, 5,000 views. 3,000 views? 2,000 views? 1,000 views? One view? Two views? Three views? How many views? Whatever Allah wills. That's not what life's about. Life's about not getting on hallucinogens, you know. It's about living the moments, living the moments. And we're going to actually have a movie review about um, Disney's new movie called, I'm not going to say it, because we're going to find out very, very soon. That video is probably going to be out on Monday. You can look out for a public interview asking people if they watch porn video on Sunday. This video is going to be out Saturday, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys benefited from this video, and I hope that you are learning something from these videos. And I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increases us, unites us in paradise, has mercy on us. Um, <coughs> I could go on for this forever, guys, but I really, really love you all for the sake of Allah. I just came back from Jamal not too long ago. Um, but hey, we're under 11 minutes. I feel pretty proud of myself. May Allah increase you guys. I love you all for the sake of Allah. And until next time, I'm out. Okay, sorry guys. This this is happening like after I realized that I never told you how to apply the name Ar-Rahim. Okay? Because in order for us to obtain the beautiful, beautiful reward of paradise for memorizing and remembering the Asma al-Husna, it's not just knowing the names. It's also not just memorizing things, but understanding what they mean and applying them. So how can we apply the name Ar-Rahim in our daily lives? Ar-Rahman allowed us to be merciful to everyone. Ar-Rahim be especially especially merciful to the believers, to the Muslims. So even in this video that we're talking about Mike Tyson, I hope you understand that we were extra merciful towards him because that's our Muslim brother, okay? And be extra merciful to your Muslim brothers and sisters. And if I've harmed someone, please forgive me. I harmed someone today after Jummah. You know who you are. If you ever watch this video, I love you for the sake of Allah. Please forgive me. Um, and anyone else, please forgive each other. Learn to not hold grudges against each other, especially against the believers. But don't hold grudges at all. But especially against the believers, don't hold grudges. Because that is what unlocks the quality of Ar-Rahim. This is a bonus footage. I got to go now. Uh, yeah, I'm out of here.